Hello, I'm Vijay Kumar, Dean of Penn Engineering. Thank you all for joining me for this virtual commencement ceremony, which honors the 2021 doctoral graduates of the School of Engineering and Applied Science at the University of Pennsylvania. Graduates, the year of hard work and study culminates today in receiving a doctoral degree, a truly significant accomplishment. The tremendous goal you set for yourself just a few years ago has just been realized. And we, the faculty and staff of Penn Engineering, your family members, spouses, children, and friends are all incredibly proud of you. We're honored to celebrate the achievements of our new doctors of philosophy. I had hoped that I'd present the only virtual commencement address of my lifetime in 2020. Sadly, because of the continued challenges of the pandemic, for the second year, we must celebrate this day virtually. But the excitement remains, and the celebration is joyous. Today, we celebrate your singular and outstanding achievements and the milestone of earning a doctoral degree. You've done something that few people can claim. You've reached the highest level of academic achievement available in your field. Your innovative contributions have positioned you to be leaders in your chosen professions. Attaining this goal under any circumstances is extraordinary. Doing so during a pandemic might even be considered miraculous. I and my colleagues could not be prouder of you and your accomplishments. Please give yourselves and your fellow graduates a huge round of applause. You deserve it. As a scientist, and as an engineer, I cannot help but to step back and picture this entire experience in a way that some others might not. For me, watching this pandemic unfold in real time has been like watching and experiencing the biggest scientific experiment that could be conducted. The scale is vast, and it incorporates many disciplines, science, medicine, economics, and of course, engineering. I believe I can say that this experiment has taught us three lessons. First, we know that science and engineering are crucial for solving some of the biggest challenges that we face on this planet. Second, it's important to view science and technology through the lens of society. Never before has this connection between technology and society been so deeply intertwined. Third, the value of resilience is indisputable. Let me repeat the first point. Science and engineering matter, and they're essential for humanity. We counted on science to sequence the virus, to understand the role of mRNA in cells, and how to get cells to successfully produce proteins encoded in injected mRNA. This, of course, led to the development of new vaccines for COVID-19 in an incredibly short period of time of less than a year and with astonishingly high efficacy. But it was also the logistics, the engineering of the supply chain, the back-end automation, and the data-driven approaches to honing the processes that led to the amazing ramp up from zero vaccines per day to over three million vaccines administered per day in the US in just five months. On our own campus, we're now able to do 40,000 COVID tests per week, something that was unthinkable just five months ago. But never before in our lifetimes, have we seen events like those accompanying the pandemic reveal fault lines between society and trust in science and technology? And how, if a certain tipping point is reached, it will not matter how effective our solutions are if the people who need to trust us do not. Indeed, the world needs more engineers to address societal grand challenges. And not only do we need more engineers, we need them to be able to connect to more diverse communities 
and be relatable to people with different experiences and upbringings. This leads me to my second lesson, which is succinctly captured in a speech given by William Wolfe, former president of the National Academy of Engineering. He said, diversity is an absolute necessity. He goes on to say, it's not just that it would be nice if we were all more diverse. The issue is much more important than that. I believe it's an issue of absolute necessity. Many people talk about the need for diversity as an issue of equity in terms of fairness, and that's a potent argument. He then says, my argument is essentially that the quality of engineering is affected by diversity or the lack thereof. Finally, he says, as a consequence of a lack of diversity, we pay an opportunity cost, a cost in designs not thought of, in solutions not produced. If you believe, as I do, that the critical path to addressing societal grand challenges relies on engineering and technology, the lack of diversity is a huge opportunity cost and one that we cannot afford to pay. We've seen this opportunity cost before, right here in our school, 75 years ago. If you had been in the Moore Building in 1945, you would not have known it, but you would have been standing next to a secret project being developed that would come to be known as ENIAC, the world's first digital computer. In stark contrast with today's tech industry, 100% of the programmers working on the project were women. They worked in our school, a school that would not admit them as students or grant them degrees. They worked in secret, not to be acknowledged or thanked for decades. They brought us the technology that would eventually lead to me being able to speak to you through a screen. We missed a huge opportunity. People in leadership positions at that time saw what women were capable of, and yet they did not push for change. Barriers were kept in place that not only hurt women who aspired to be engineers, they hurt our entire field. We paid the opportunity cost of continuing to waste the potential of 50% of human talent, and those effects are still being felt today. The systemic racism and bias in society is not just an issue of equity. It definitely is. But in engineering, it's even more so. It's hurt our collective ability to have impact on this world. And we cannot allow this to continue. What I ask you as future leaders of engineering is that as you go through your careers, do whatever you can to expand opportunities for the engineers coming behind you. Seize the opportunities that you will have to affect change. Think of all the shoulders you stand on today. And when the time comes, be a shoulder for the next generation. The third lesson the pandemic has taught us is about resilience. And I don't mean resilience in the way it's used colloquially. I mean it in a sense that only engineers will appreciate. So much of our world is about optimization. Engineers optimize for cost. We invest in projects that cost the least and that can be completed as quickly as possible, using the least amount of resources. Indeed, we learn about optimization in our very first course on calculus. How do we find a minimum or a maximum of a function? Is optimization the right way to build our infrastructure? Whether it was about shortage of toilet paper a year ago, the delays in securing laptops for schooling, the global shortage of microchips and the slowdown in automotive production caused by a fire in a single factory in Japan, the shutting down of nearly half of all power generating units in Texas because of a winter storm, or the blockage of 10% of global trade in the Suez Canal because of a quarter mile long ship gone astray, 
all these disruptions were caused by our obsession for optimized performance at the expense of resilience. And the magnitudes of these disruptions were amplified by the pandemic. As pen engineers, it's your moral imperative to design, architect, and create systems that'll be resilient to yet to be imagined disruptions. But for all of you listening today, and for the faculty of pen engineering, the most significant example of resilience is exemplified by the recipients of the doctoral degree that we are all here to honor today. Graduates, no one could have predicted your final year at Penn. If someone had proposed this grand experiment to you last March, you would have been right in questioning if you would have made it through to today. But you adapted to changing conditions. You overcame seemingly insurmountable challenges to complete your degree. And I'm sure as you face new challenges in your life, you will look back on this pandemic and your experience and tell yourself, if I can survive that, then I can certainly do this. You each now have an unwritten line on your resume that reads, graduated amidst a global pandemic. You exemplify resilience. As newly minted doctors of philosophy, you are now ambassadors of pen engineering. As holders of PhD degrees, you will find yourselves in positions of leadership with the power to make important decisions that will not only affect your career, they will affect our field. Science and engineering matter. It must be an all hands on deck effort for all members of our society. And it's now your responsibility to not only carry forth the lessons of resilience learned from the pandemic, but also make sure that you encourage the best and the brightest and the most diverse students to pursue careers in engineering and even better, to become a part of the pen engineering community. You now hold a doctoral degree from the School of Engineering and Applied Science at the University of Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Now it's my great pleasure to recognize the Penn Engineering graduates in the Doctor of Philosophy degree. We will begin by recognizing the graduates in bioengineering. Zachary Michael Beach. Hi everyone, I'd like to thank my advisor and my past and current lab mates for their guidance for this program. I'd also like to thank my wife Cassidy and my son Watson for their support and motivation and guidance for helping me get through this program. Um, and also to all my family and friends that also contributed. Uh, I love you all and thank you so much. Hey Zach, congratulations to you, Cassidy, and yes to Watson too. So proud of all that you've accomplished in such crazy times and I'm looking forward to the next phase of your life and career. Way to go Zach, really proud. Nicolette Lee Driscoll. Hi, I want to thank my advisors, Brian and Flavia, from whom I've learned so much. All my friends and colleagues in the CNT, um, all of the amazing collaborators I've had the privilege to work with through the years, and of course, my friends and family for supporting me on this journey. Nikki, congratulations on obtaining your PhD. It has been an absolute honor and pleasure to serve as your advisor. You're such a talented, bright, and skillful researcher and an amazing person. And I cannot wait to witness all your future successes. Nikki, uh, on behalf of the whole CNT, I've uh, just thoroughly enjoyed co-advising you over the past few years. You're a superb scientist, person, athlete, and uh, I can't wait to share share the next phase of your career with you. Lots of exciting things in store. Congratulations. Lindsay Rose Fernandez.
Hi, my name is Lindsay Fernandez, and I would like to say a great thanks to my advisor, Dr. Ravi Rahad Krishnan, for all of his guidance and support throughout my PhD, as well as all my friends and family who have supported me throughout this process. Thank you all so much. Congratulations, Dr. Lindsay Fernandez. It's a tremendous achievement to have gotten your doctoral degree from the Department of Bioengineering at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a testament to your hard work, your dedication, your persistence, your creativity, and your intellect. It has been a tremendous honor and a privilege to have been your advisor um, and to have you as a collaborator in the lab. You are clearly set out to do great things, and I can't wait to see you achieve those great things. And if there's anything I can do to help you along your way, I'd be more than honored to do so. Congratulations once more. Sung Hoon Han. Thank you, Professor Dayan Lee and Professor Junya Kim for all your help. Love you, mom, dad, rest of my family members, my wife Minju, and my lovely daughter Sophia. Um, dear Sangun, it was an incredibly fortuitous event for you to join my lab very early on and then continue on to your PhD program. You are the most conscientious, hardworking student I've ever had in my lab, and it was an incredible tour de force, your dissertation. And uh, I, I think we'll be building on your work for many, many years to come. And thank you very much and congratulations. Hansung Bak Sangin, Chukamnida. Congratulations, Sangun. It was such a privilege to witness your growth as a researcher since your undergraduate years. I'm extremely proud that I can call myself your co-advisor along with Jun Hyung. Congratulations on your achievements and wish you the very best. Thank you what's your name? Call me that. Jessica Su. I would like to thank my thesis advisor, Dr. Kermode, for his support and guidance. I would also like to give special thanks to my family, my husband, my two lovely doggies, and my wonderful friends for being there for me every step of the way. Jessica, congratulations on your graduation. You completed an excellent PhD thesis. I look forward to continuing to work with you in your next role as a Brody Postdoctoral Fellow. Eileen Huang. I thank God for making this PhD possible. I thank my mentors, colleagues, family, and friends for supporting me. You are all my heroes. Hello, I'm John Detra, and I'm Eileen's thesis co-advisor. Walter Witchie and I would like to congratulate Eileen on her doctorate degree. She did an awesome job navigating a challenging space, and we wish her the best for the future. Jo Hoon Kim. I'd like to thank my advisor, Dr. David Kermode, my thesis committee, collaborators, lab mates, friends and family. Thank you all. Joe, congratulations on completing your PhD. You're a really talented person. I look forward to your future successes and achievements. Kristen Chi Yan Lao. advisor, Andrew Maimet, and my thesis committee for their guidance and advice during my PhD, as well as past and present members of the X-ray physics lab, and my friends and family for all their support. Kristen, in the best X-ray lab tradition, COVID style, I present to you your own personal PhD fireworks celebration. I want to thank you for all that you've done for the lab, and I want to wish you the best of luck in your medical training. William David Lindsay, Jr. I want to say a quick thank you to my parents for their incredible support, to my advisor Jim for his patience and mentorship, to the MD-PhD program for giving me the opportunity to study here at Penn, and to my wife Raisa for standing with me through every hardship and helping push me to new heights. So incredibly happy for you, David. I couldn't be more proud. It's been brilliant riding with you on a portion of your amazing life journey that I know would be paved with even bigger and better things. Most important of which will be your induction soon into fatherhood. 
Congratulations again, David. Trevor Vent. I would like to thank my thesis advisor, Dr. Andrew Maidment, and thesis committee, also my colleagues in the X-ray physics lab, my family and friends, especially my parents and partner, Tara, and last but not least, my dog, Stanley. Trevor, you get fireworks too. You've achieved so much with your research. Not many people have built an imaging system from scratch. I am thrilled that you will continue your training at Penn as our first ever diagnostic physics resident. Congratulations. Now it's my pleasure to recognize the graduates in chemical and biomolecular engineering. Jason Chen. I would like to thank my advisor, Professor Scott Diamond, for the help. I would also like to thank my family and friends for all the support and love. Jason, congratulations on your PhD. Your research has led to new insights into how blood works in health and disease. Best wishes for continued success in the future. Tianchi Chen. I would firstly thank my thesis advisor, John. Thank you for your insightful advice and guidance in the past five years. And I would also thank my friends and colleagues for sharing happiness and sadness with me. Tin Chi, congratulations on finishing your PhD. I've really enjoyed working with you for these last four and a half years, and you've done a fantastic job on your PhD thesis research. I hope you really enjoyed the experience. All of us in the lab are gonna miss you as you move on to your new position at LAM Research. And please stay in touch, and I wanna hear about all the great things you do in the future. So congratulations again for a job well done. Giuseppe D. Vitantanio. These years at Penn have been amazing. Because of that, I would like to thank my supervisors for making this possible, as well as their guidance and patience throughout these years. I would also like to thank my family for their support. Giuseppe, I have very few seconds to tell you how wonderful you are how proud we are, how much we're going to miss you. Congratulations. Giuseppe, we'll miss your passion for tackling the most challenging problems with MacGyver-like creativity. We'll also miss your delicious pizzas. It's been a privilege to work with you. Congratulazioni, complimenti, Dr. Di Vitantonio. Luke Johnson. Thank you to my advisor, Alex, who has been nurturing, understanding, and patient of this entire process. Thank you to my lab mates and the wonderful memories we've created together. Thank you to the CBE staff, my cohort members, and especially to Mika, Ali, and Liz. Finally, a special shout out to my family members and loved ones back home in the Bahamas. I can't wait to celebrate with you all. Hi, Luke. Warmest congratulations, Dr. Johnson. It's been a simulating wild scientific journey having you as part of my lab. I'm proud of you and of all of your accomplishments. Can't wait to see where the new endeavors that are ahead of you on the other coast will take you. Wishing you all the best. Chao Lin. I would like to thank everyone I met in the last five years. Great, thank you for your endless support and help. And my thesis committee members, thank you for all your guidance during my thesis writing. All the God event members, thank you for all your company during the last five years in the bachelor's building. And finally, to my family. Uh, without you, this is not gonna be possible. Thank you all. Chao Lin, I am so proud to have been part of your thesis. You broke new ground and you were my go-to guy when you were here. I know you're going to have an extremely successful and wonderful career. See you, Mao. I want to say thank you to my advisor, Ray. You are the best. And I also want to say thank you to all the GORTI group members. I wish you guys have a wonderful career in the future. Love you. 
Jin Yu, I am so pleased that you chose me as your advisor. You were simply an outstanding student. You took on tough problems and you got results. I know you're going to have a wonderful career. Congratulations. Abhinav Shankararaman. I would like to thank my advisor, uh, Dr. Alexandra Voivodich, for uh, all her support and guidance over these years. Uh, I would be nowhere without her guidance. Uh, huge thanks also to uh, all of the Voivodich lab members, uh, past and present, for their support and guidance. And uh, I would also like to thank all of my family for their support over these years. Thank you. Hi, Abhinav. Warmest congratulations on your achievements, Dr. Rahman. It's been an intellectually fun and inspirational journey having you as one of my group members. I hope you enjoy the amazing journey ahead of you. Do remember that I'm always up for a density of states discussion. Good luck. Alice Mary Reed. Thank you, Kay, for being such a great mentor and for showing me that we can all be great. Special thanks to my parents, my friends, families, and the SEBI lab for showing me support all this time. Dear Ali, congratulations. All of your hard work, your intellectualism, your independence have paid off in a beautiful thesis. I'm excited to see you embark on your career, and I'm very proud. Congratulations again. Jason Matthew Rossi. I'd like to thank my thesis advisor, Scott Diamond, and all of my friends and family who helped me along the way. Jason, it's been exciting to watch your skill and expertise in the lab. You've solved many challenges to invent an entirely new blood testing system. Congratulations on your PhD. Evan Cyclides. I'd like to thank my advisors, Dr. Scott Diamond and Dr. Talid Sino. Your advisement over the years really expanded the horizon of my project. I'd also like to thank my friends and family who really enriched my life during my PhD. You guys know who you are. Evan, you've brought so much creativity to your research. Best wishes for success in all your future work. Congratulations on your PhD. Evan, fantastic job all around. Wonderful presentation, wonderful thesis. All the best going forward with your new job. It is now my pleasure to recognize the graduates in computer and information science. Sean L. Bowman. A huge thanks to my advisor, George, for putting up with me for so long. And a big thanks to Kostas, Nikolai, and everyone else I've worked with for all the help along the way. Also, thank you to my parents for always supporting me, even though they couldn't be here to see the end of this journey. Sean, congratulations on completing your uh, thesis, and I wish you all the best uh, in your new adventures in the robotics ecosystem in Philadelphia. Anupama Cha. I would like to thank my advisor, Yosef Parash, for his support throughout this PhD. And I'm very grateful to my friends, family, and colleagues at Penn, without whom this journey would not be possible. Anu, congratulations on your PhD. You did a great job. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to have you as a trainee. I very much look forward to seeing all the great things you're going to do in your next step and beyond with many more of those uh, talks like in the background. Minchin Lee. I'd like to thank my advisor, Fan Fu, my thesis committee, all my collaborators, families, friends, and last but not least, my parents and girlfriend, Yi. Minchen, congratulations on your graduation in a record-breaking 2.5 years. I'm extremely proud of you, and I'm sure you'll have an outstanding future ahead. Georgios Pavlakos. I'd like to thank my advisor, Kostas Delilidis, for all his help and support. Dear George, I'm so proud of you. Your scientific output has been unprecedented. 
Congratulations on writing the best dissertation in the CSEIS department at Penn. Joshua Wolper. A huge thank you to my family who's relentlessly cheered me on, my partner Mad for keeping me standing through this challenge, my friends Carl, Lucero, Courtney, Emily, Ethan, Kelly, Travis, and Vlad for keeping me sane, and of course my incredible lab mates and advisor Fanfu for being such an inspiration and teaching me so damn much. I couldn't have done this without all of you. Josh, congratulations on your achievements. Your dedication has enabled you to accomplish really impactful research. I'm looking forward to seeing your continued excellence after graduation. Nan Jing. First and foremost, I would like to thank my advisor Zachary Ives. You are so awesome and so supportive. I also wish to thank all of my lovely friends and office mates in the computer science department. Thank you. Nan, it's been a delight and a privilege to work with you these last few years. I'm always amazed at how, no matter what obstacle comes in front of you, you manage to overcome it with hard work and a wonderful, optimistic attitude. Congratulations on becoming Dr. Nan Zheng. It's now my pleasure to recognize the graduates in electrical and systems engineering. Andrea Beatrice Alexandru. A big thank you to George and to my committee members. Thanks a lot to my brunch group, to my grasp corner, and to my high school squad. Thank you very much to my family. Thanks, Mate, for everything. And thanks, Hijin, for the prop. Andrea, congratulations on your completing your wonderful thesis. You have charted a new direction of study. And uh, I am very proud of your accomplishments. I wish you all the best at the University of Maryland. Next. Louise Chamon. Throughout my, my PhD, I was lucky enough to work with amazing professors and amazing colleagues. And in Philadelphia, I have made amazing friends. And nothing expressed my gratitude to all of them more than my original submission to this video, which, which was censored. But still, I, I just want to say to all of you from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Hello, Luis. As you may remember, our collaboration started on a contradiction. I was very happy that you had decided to accept our offer, but you thought I shouldn't be, because you are a very difficult person. As years passed, I discovered that both of us were right. You are a very difficult person, but working with you has been, honestly, a privilege. An honor. Congratulations. Lynn Doe. Hi, this is Lynn. I would like to thank my friends, my family, my colleagues, my collaborators, my thesis committee, and my supervisor for their support. Lynn, your work at the intersection of electrical engineering, MEMS, and biomedical engineering has set the stage for implantable medical devices that will make a real difference in people's lives. Congratulations on receiving your PhD and all the best going forward. Asen Nawi. Special thanks to my PhD advisor, Dr. Ngeta, and members of the Ngeta group, especially Brian, Inigo, and Mario, my parents and friends in Philly and elsewhere. Thank you so much for your amazing support. I couldn't have done without you. I dedicate all these flowers to you. Hey, son, congratulations to you for achieving this wonderful milestone in your scientific career. I'm confident you will continue to do great work in your future endeavors. Congratulations. Brent Schlotfeld. I want to thank George, Nikolai, Vijay, Hamed, as well as everyone in my family for all their support over the years during this journey. Brett, congratulations on completing your uh, wonderful thesis. I wish you all the best at Waymo next. Nainsin Song. Hi, 
Hi everyone, I want to take this opportunity to thank my advisor, Dr. Allen, my lab mates, and my family members for their unconditional love and support. Thank you all. Nijin, congratulations on receiving your PhD. Being able to do cytokine-based measurements on in vivo platforms using the MEMS devices that you developed will be a game changer. Best of luck in the future as you go forward. Ko Swen. Hi, I'm Ko Swen. I would like to thank my supervisor, Dr. Vijay Kumar, for his mentoring and encouragement. I would also like to thank my family for their constant support over the past years. Ko, what an amazing six years it's been at Penn. Congratulations on your impressive accomplishments in visual odometry, for autonomous flight, stochastic motion planning, and all the other wonderful things you've done. You truly are a deep thinker, and I've enjoyed working with you. All of us in the lab are going to miss you. We want to wish you the very best and look forward to hearing about all your achievements in the coming years. Ekaterina Tolstaya. I'd like to thank my advisors, Alejandro Ribeiro and Vijay Kumar. And I'm also grateful for the support of my parents, Igor and Lada, my brother, Alex, and my partner, Brent. Hello, Kate. For some time, I have been convinced that you were going to produce a remarkable thesis, and that you have done. Your work has blossomed. Your dissertation is remarkable. Please go ahead and bask. You deserve it. Today, I also realize that I am sad to see you go. I have really, truly enjoyed working with you, and I wish we had more time to keep our collaboration. Alas, adventures have to end for new ones to begin, and I am looking forward to seeing you blossom in your next adventure. Congratulations. Kate, congratulations on this milestone and your outstanding work on distributed learning and control in your five years at Penn. I'm of course delighted, but I'm also gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss your intellectual energy, your brilliance, and your sense of humor. I wanna wish you the very best in your career and look forward to hearing about all the amazing things you're sure to do in the coming years. Anastasios Tamis. George, I'm very lucky and proud to be your PhD student. Your trust and your support have been very important to me. Also, special thanks to my collaborators, my friends and my family for supporting me those years. Tasso, congratulations uh, for completing your thesis. Uh, your thesis contains numerous award-winning uh, publications. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors and Skyrdiria. Uh, it is now my pleasure to recognize the graduates in material science and engineering. Nathan Christopher Frey. Thanks to my advisor, Vivek Shinoy, and the entire Shinoy group. Thanks to all my friends in the material science department, and most of all to my family, to my parents, and my partner, Kate. Hi. I want to congratulate Nathan for graduating from our doctoral program. We are very happy that he was able to publish his work in high-impact interdisciplinary journals. Nathan made a clean sweep of all the departmental awards and won the prestigious NDSEG Fellowship from the DOT. Impressive as all this would seem, I strongly believe that the best is yet to come. I wish Nathan the very best as he will move to MIT as a postdoc this summer. Song Song Zhao So uh, I would like to thank my advisor, David Stolovis. Um, people usually say getting a PhD is tough and painful, but I do enjoy these days with Deb. Um, thank you, Deb. I do feel lucky to have you as my, as my advisor. And uh, I would like to thank all my friends there, Jian, Jiachen, Shuyang, and many, many others. Thank you for making this day so happy for me. 
Congratulations on your graduation song, Song. You've been so much fun to work with over the years. I've always enjoyed the creativity that you've shown, and I'm sure you'll end up doing great things in great places, and I'll always be proud to call you one of my own students. And last, but certainly not least, it's now my pleasure to recognize graduates in mechanical engineering and applied mechanics. Akshay Anantakrishnan. I would like to thank my advisor, Professor Mark Allen, MSMA group, friends and colleagues, and last but not least, my family, for their amazing love and support during all of my amazing years at Penn. Akshay, your pioneering work on passive neural networks really has set the stage for what I think will be an exciting new field. Congratulations on receiving your PhD. I wish you all the best in the future. Chao Lu. I would like to thank my advisor, Professor Mark Yim, my thesis committee, my lab mates, and my friends, and of course, my loud family, for all of your support through the whole journey. Ciao, congratulations. The breadth of your contributions, whether it's simulation or hardware or software, is simply amazing. Your uh, productivity has been great. Um, the number of papers you've had has just gone through the roof. Congratulations. Caio Cesar Rodriguez Mukiani. I would like to thank my family, by my Camila and all Vocês. A special thanks to my friends from Modla. Thank you guys. And Dr. Marquin, I really appreciate those years you had me in the lab. Thank you very much. Caio, congratulations. Your work on human robot interaction with elders and robot manipulation will have long-lasting impact. Bruno Tellis Gabrich. Hello, everyone. Uh, first, I wanted to say thanks to my family in Brazil. Pai, mãe, Diogo, obrigado. I wanted to say thanks to ModLab and GraspLab and also a big thanks to my advisor, Dr. Mark Yim. Thanks. Bruno, congratulations. I think your idea for a robot that can lift things is a great idea. I want to raise this glass and toast to you, and the robot can do the same thing. Congratulations. Great job. Thank you. This concludes the individual recognition of the Penn Engineering graduates in our doctoral programs. the doctoral graduates of the class of 2021, congratulations! You've gotten a PhD, which is difficult enough, and you've done it during a pandemic. Congratulations to all of you for completing your PhD studies. This has been a challenging year for everyone. All the more you should be proud of your achievements. We look forward to seeing all the great things that you can accomplish in future. Please stay in touch. Hello, class of 2021 doctoral students, uh, it's quite an achievement that uh, you have a doctoral degree from the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, congratulations. Uh, we look forward to many more wonderful things uh, from you in the future, and I can't wait to see you all uh, succeed. To the class of 2021, congratulations on all that you have accomplished. We celebrate you today and can't wait to see the impact you'll make on the world. Class of 2021, we here at MEME are so proud of you. Congratulations to all of you for achieving this great milestone in your education. Best of success in your future endeavors. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We're so proud of what you've done. Congratulations, CBE PhD students. We know it's been a challenging year, but we are so proud of all you have accomplished and all you will go on to do. Wishing you the best of luck from all of us here at CBE. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. Go out there now and make us pen proud. Congratulations on all the work and perseverance that you've put in, especially during this last tough year. Best wishes on all the opportunities that may come your way. Thomas, congratulations on your graduation. I wish you a very successful and exciting career. 
Congratulations to our graduates. The dedication each of you have shown in your studies will no doubt lead you to bigger accomplishments in life. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. The administrative staff of the Computer and Information Science Department would like to say to all of the graduates, Congratulations! Awesome, very well done. Good luck, good speed. Congratulations! Once again, thank you for joining us on this joyous occasion. Congratulations to all of the graduates.